if you look at the word symbiosis on Google, it will mean that association between two species working together. However, symbiosis is not just simply a word. It's a phenomena. And for me, it has far bigger meaning than just symbiosis, which is in the Oxford Dictionary. Before 1955, when open heart surgeries were not in place, the babies with holes in the heart would die. And uh, there would be nobody to take care of them. University of Minnesota, there was this guy by the name of Walton Lilly High. He decided that he would like to fix those babies. And there was no heart-lung machines. And in order to fix these babies, you have to stop the heart. Whenever you stop the heart, you have to put them on a heart-lung machine. There were no heart-lung machines, so how would you do that? So he came up with an ingenious idea, a symbiotic relationship, which I'm going to tell you. What he decided was he's going to fix these babies, stop their heart, but use their moms and dads as heart-lung machines. So this is 1955, ladies and gentlemen. So he put in the operation theater two tables where he had on one table the baby, the other table, either the mom or the dad, depending upon their blood group, connected both of them through some pipes, stopped the heart of the baby, and fixed the hearts. And that symbiotic relationship defined the cardiac surgery from that day on and revolutionized the open heart surgeries and later on the heart lung machines were devised and all this. He fixed 55 such babies and out of those 30 were still alive in the 1990s. So imagine this symbiotic relationship that he created in the operation theater for fixing this. This symbiosis is present everywhere. And if we look at our own human bodies, it's the biggest example of symbiosis. An organ like heart cannot function separately. It needs its lungs, the liver, the kidneys, the brain, the, the muscles, the bones. Every organ is working in a symbiotically positive relationship amongst, uh, in, in all of it. If you have one organ function not properly, let's say the, the kidney is not functioning properly, your acid-base balance in the body goes haywire to an extent that the heart will not function. So imagine the nature, the basis of our human body, the nature made it such that our basis of existence is actually symbiosis. Our own human body is the masterpiece. So when the, when the, when the nature wanted our own human bodies to be the symbiotic examples, imagine why would we not have symbiosis in everything around us? in the universe, in the, in the world around us. So that is why you have symbiosis between not only animals and plants, animals and animals of different species, humans and plants, humans and environment, humans and artificial intelligence, companies versus companies just like Amazon and Postal Service, symbiotic relationships between different countries like China and America or Pakistan and China. So there is symbiosis all around us. Each and every single thing has symbiosis. However, what is not recognized in this, in this whole symbiotic uh, relationships is that symbiosis, and this is especially true for all the students and the alumni sitting here, the symbiosis is the basis where you can excel. Without symbiosis, one will not excel. Look at Ronaldo. Ronaldo works for a club. He would not have been a Ronaldo if he was not, he did not have symbiosis or a symbiotically positive relationship with his administration, the management, the players who work, who, who don't play like him, and even the management. If he did not have that symbiotic relationship, the Ronaldoism would not have been introduced. So same is true for each and everything, whatever we do. That Ronaldoism requires, uh, requires symbiosis. So as students of KGS or alumni who are sitting here and the students around, all of you are the cream of the nation, the Ronaldos, the Olympians that I say, the best of the best. You could have gone to any other school and you would have done well. 
So you would ask, what does KGS give it to me? It is actually the Karachi Grammar School which actually leads you to excel in your fields. And let me explain it to you. What does KGS is? KGS gives you that brand name. Not only the brand name, the great education, which helps you excel. And in return, it asks you to work hard, honestly, and also work in a fashion that nobody else can. That's all what it asks for. It gives you that playground where you can play your game like an Olympian. That's what KGS does. That's the symbiotic relationship you have with Karachi Grammar School. As you grow old and you progress to a different level, then you will see that uh, uh, as you go into the training programs or you go into different organizations, you join institutions, hospitals, you will realize that uh, as you enter into different fields, you have to work with people with different backgrounds, different ethnicities, different religions, different cultures. They have different mindsets, different ideologies, ideas. They have their own way of doing it. You may be working very hard. They want to work at a different pace. In order to excel in your fields, you will have to work with all of them. And that is, again, symbiosis. Working with different people at different levels. Otherwise, you will work in a silo, and you may do well to some extent, but you will not reach to the heights which you're supposed to do. So coexistence is what defines coevolution. If you do not coexist with other people, you will not proceed. I have a friend whose name is Hassan Badri Alam. He was uh, an AQ graduate with me. He's a chief of surgery at Ann Arbor, Michigan right now. So he was into trauma surgery and he realized that, that when patients, when, 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 when somebody gets hit in trauma, they lose blood, we try to resuscitate them. Then what we do is usually we keep the temperature to a normal level, which is 98.6. He came up with, uh, with an idea that why don't we decrease the temperature of human bodies and in order to have increased survival. So he came up with this idea. Now he needed, obviously, funding. So the NIH was able to give some funding. The, 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 the army was able to give some funding for trauma. However, what was not there was he didn't have a model. In order to pre prepare a big model, he, will need, he would have required years of uh, preparing a model. So what he did was he imagined symbiosis. He asked his friends at Emory. He asked his friends at Harvard. He asked his friend at Washington, do you have a model where I can actually practice this? Otherwise, if I had to uh, prepare a model, it would take me years. So that symbiotic relationship got him the models. And he was able to prove that hypothermia, decreasing the temperature in trauma patients, uh, is actually improved survival, and that has become the norm. That, ladies and gentlemen, requires symbiotic relationships. You cannot do it alone. No one can. If you would want to do it all, you'll be the jack of all trades. You would need, in any institution, no matter where you go, the banks, the, the hospitals, wherever you would go, you will need people from housekeeping department to the top management to work symbiotically with you. And that symbiosis is what gives you excellence. I wanted to be a heart surgeon all my life, uh, since, since a child. So everything has in my life has been a conduit towards achieving that. So I got into a program after graduating uh, uh, from AKU. I got into a program called University of Tennessee at Memphis. I went there and worked very hard after about a year, I realized no one likes me. Uh, they literally hate me. And uh, they, to an extent that I realized I was the first foreigner in that entire program, in the history of that program. So they all disliked me. I was very unhappy. So much so that I realized that after about a year, I should just quit. I can't live with any one of them. They are constantly abusing me. They're constantly humiliating me with everybody, in front of everybody. 
And you know the, the, the DNA of uh, the people living in Pakistan. We are sensitive. So we, we were too, I was too sensitive. I took, a, uh, I took a week off. And I reflected on what was going on. What, what told me was that through my reflective reflection onto my own self, I realized the fault wasn't with them. They had never seen a Pakistani. They had never seen somebody from that background coming over there. It was for me to actually fit in, develop that symbiotic relationship with all of them. For me to actually live in that environment and make, make me feel belonged. So I went back and I realized the one thing that I can do is to work harder than everybody else. To smile at people. I never used to smile. I started smiling at people. I started changing the way I used to interact with residents. I interacted with, with everybody, the healthcare specialists, the consultants in the OR. And I realized that with those simple attitude changes, coming at 3 a.m. in the morning, going the late at night, working harder than everybody else, smiling at people, those little changes changed the fact to an extent that I, they started liking me just in a few weeks. So much so, they gave me the best surgery resident award in when I was in third year resident. So imagine that entire thing changed from the fact that I was ready to give up my job, and here I was, I was chosen as the best resident. That is what symbiosis tells you. You live amongst each other, accept changes, accept differences. So when I came back to Pakistan and I was working as a consultant, and I would like all of you to realize this, when you will go to any institution, whether you will be working in US, England, Canada, wherever you will be, or in Pakistan, when you join a practice, you will actually have a newer challenge. I, was, I thought I had a challenge in UT Memphis. There was a far bigger challenge when I came back because now I have to deal with people with different subspecialities. I have to deal with people with administration, with the people in finance, people in different, different parts of, the, of AKU. I have to deal with pathologists, microbiologists. I have to deal with pulmonologists, cardiologists, cath lab, everywhere. And I realize without that symbiosis, without tolerance, without forgiving, without combining my knowledge with them, learning from them, without giving, without just simply being selfish. That's all what I needed to excel. And with time, things worked out. And that is what, what I would like all of you to take from this, this talk today, is without symbiotic existence, you would not excel. Before I finish my talk, I would tell you the three C's to success. And that I tell this to most of my residents around. There are three C's to success. You may forget the whole TED talk, but this is something that you should remember. There are three C's to success. The capability, the compatibility, and compliability. All of you are Olympians. No question about it. The best of the best. You ha are capable. You're capable to reach the heights whichever you can. You can be the best the doctor, the engineer, the banker, the businessman, whatever you are. However, if you're not compatible with your surrounding, the organization, the, the, the colleagues, and if you are not compliable, if you are rigid with your colleagues, if you are not compliable with your colleagues, you will never become a Ronaldo in your field. So the three C's to success is what makes you an Olympian and a Ronaldo. Thank you.